Hey, welcome back to Ramsey Land. Today I wanna to show you the amazing endothermic reaction between barium hydroxide and ammonium chloride. Check this out. All I'm using in this investigation is barium hydroxide. I'm using ammonium chloride, a uh, 500 milliliter volumetric flask with some water and a dropper. I'm using an infrared thermometer just to check the temperature during this endothermic reaction. I'm using this glass stir stick, a block of wood. These are two 250 milliliter beakers in this investigation. The first step is to add some barium hydroxide into my first 250 milliliter beaker. Next, I'm gonna add some ammonium chloride into my second beaker. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of water onto my block of wood. So it's like there's a little bit of a puddle in the middle. And then I'm gonna take either beaker and I'm gonna stick it to that puddle of water. And I'm gonna find out if during this endothermic reaction, it'll absorb the heat from the water until the beaker freezes to the block of wood. Let's find out. Next, you're gonna carefully take one of the beakers and you're gonna place it right on that water and some of it will displace onto the table, that's okay and then you're gonna pour the other beaker in and you're going to start mixing it. Now, before we pour the other beaker, let's get a base temperature and see where it's at. It's about room temperature, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's gonna get a lot colder during this reaction. Okay, now I'm gonna pour the other beaker in and we're gonna start stirring it. And as we stir it, it's gonna absorb the heat from the water underneath the block until eventually the block of wood will freeze to the beaker. And as I stir it, we're gonna take the temperature and see how much colder it gets during this reaction. So remember, we started at around 70 degrees Fahrenheit, around room temperature. I can already feel the beaker getting cold. My mixture is starting to turn into a liquid at this point. And you can see that it is already down to 44 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna keep mixing it. Okay, so now it's gotten really cold. I'm feeling the outside of it. Ooh, it's really cold. I wanna see if this endothermic reaction actually absorbed the heat from the water that we put on the block and froze the block of wood to the beaker. So I'm gonna slowly lift it up. Check it out. It is frozen to the block of wood. That is cold. That is just amazing. Look at that. That is Awesome. Okay, so let's see if we can twist off the beaker and actually see some ice underneath there. Wow, it's really, it's really on there tight. I can shake it. It does not wanna come off. There we go. You can actually see some chunks of ice right there. On the block of wood, you can see ice. I mean, look at my fingertips. It was really, it was really frozen to the block of wood. That is incredible. Look at that. 
Okay, so what's going on in this awesome endothermic reaction is we start with the reactants barium hydroxide, that's the BaOH2, and we add that to ammonium chloride, that's the NH4Cl. So the barium hydroxide is a really strong base and the ammonium chloride is an acidic salt. And when those combine, they create the products barium chloride, that's the BaCl2, and that ammonium chloride, it breaks down into ammonia gas, that's the NH3, and water, that's the H2O, in this awesome endothermic reaction that absorbs the heat around it, so much so that the water turned to ice and froze the beaker to the block. I hope you enjoyed today's edition of Ramsey Land, and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this presentation, I hope that you remember to like and subscribe.